Hey guys and welcome back to another Imagine Fall tutorial. In today's video we're going to be going over a system in which the only way enemies will spawn is at night or another way of saying it is enemies will only spawn at night not during the day. So if I had to hit play I'll show you what we're going to make today. So we've already got a day night cycle which we've set up in previous videos and you can see as it turns night time which for me is at 10pm that's when I've decided it's night enemies are going to start spawning and you can see I have different classes of enemies as well and they're going to be spawning at random times and random points during the night again random locations as well and it's now day none of them are going to be spawning these ones are still here but no more will spawn and as it gets to night again tonight they are going to start spawning in again as you can see here all moving around and spawning perfectly like so and again they won't when it becomes day now obviously this is adding up to be quite a lot for me but that's purely just because I'm spawning in quite a lot in a confined space if this was across your whole map and not as much if you want it'll obviously look a little bit better for you as well and again I've got two different enemy types just to show you that it doesn't have to be just one enemy type for you you can choose as many as you want and you can also set up the custom times for when it is night and day as well so this is what we'll be setting up and created today so without further ado let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I've got for my enemy BPs at the moment very simple, all I've got is just the enemy 1 BP here has just this random roam code inside of it so when they spawn they're going to be roaming about. If you're doing this, make sure that you've set auto possess AI to place in world or spawned so that way when they spawn in they will be possessed and they can be moved about through this random room or chase or whatever it is that you have. And all I've done as well is just change the colour so I can differentiate between the player and the different enemy types as well. So I've got a red one and a purple one and I'm going to close that. That's just my different enemies. Again, I've already got that set up because I haven't really done anything in there. And now for the actual code of the video, what we're going to do is go to Blueprints and Open Level Blueprint as this is where we've already got all of our code for the day-night cycle. So again, I'm going to be advancing upon that. So if you haven't already got that in, you can follow my previous videos where we have set up the day-night cycle, the tracking of the time, and all that good stuff like so. So you will also need to track the time. And I'll leave those linked in the description down below. But once we're in here, what we're going to do is find some empty space in the event graph, right click, add a custom event, and I'm going to name this one Spawn Enemies. That makes the most sense to me. And out of this, what I'm going to do is hold down B, left click to get a branch, connecting that into the custom event like so. The condition of this is going to be a new boolean value we're going to create. So create a new variable on the top left, naming this can spawn. You can name this is night if you want, however, I'm just going to name it can spawn. We're going to compile, save that, leaving the default value as false, and connecting that into the condition of the branch. Out of false, we're not going to do anything because we don't want to spawn the enemies, but out of true, we do want to spawn them. So I'm going to hold down N and left click to get a do N node, connecting the enter into true there. Out of N, I'm going to get a random integer in range, with a minimum being 1 and a maximum being 4 because I want it to spawn between 1 and 4 enemies. Now you can change these to be whatever values you like, but that's what I want it to be for me, so I want it to spawn between 1 and 4 enemies at a time. And it doesn't have to be random if you don't want, you can just set it to be one thing. Out of exit, we're going to actually spawn in these enemies. So we're going to do a spawn actor from class, and now for the class you can set that as your enemy, but as I have more than one, what I'm going to do is drag out of enemy and get a select mode like so. Option 0 is going to be my enemy 1 BP, and option 1 is going to be enemy 2 BP. Now again, add more pins and do this as many times as you like for however many enemies that you have, and again if you only have one, you can just put that straight in the class there. For the index of this, we're again going to get a random integer, and the maximum value here is going to be 2. So it's going to choose either 0 or 1 here, and that's then going to decide which type of enemy is actually spawning into our level. And the spawn transform is where it's going to actually spawn in. So I'm going to drag out this and get a make transform node like so. The rotation scale we can leave the same, but the location, I want to make sure that this is just a random point in my map. So I'm going to drag out of location and get random reachable point in radius. Now again, you may have used this before in your AI random roam code, but it's the same thing, we're just going to get a random reachable point within a certain radius because I just want to spawn in an AI within that radius. So the radius for me I'm going to set as 5000, you can obviously increase that to get a larger area for larger maps, but that's what I'm going to have it set as for me. And the origin, I'm just going to do make vector, I'm going to set it as 0, 0, 1, 3, 5. That's because I just want to be in the center of the map and I've set 135 
just because that's sort of the level of my flooring. As you can see here, it's 130, so I've just bumped it up a little bit. Obviously choose that to be whatever location you want. I imagine you probably also want to do the center of your map and just have it go out. So essentially the center of my map within a radius of 5,000 around that is where the AI can spawn. So I hope that makes sense. And again, it's going to spawn between one and four enemies at a time. Each one will have a random location as it's going to fire off the spawn actor different times, getting a different location each time. So once again, I hope that makes sense. After the spawn actor, we're going to hold down D left click to get a delay. Now the duration of this is how long you want in between the different spawns of the enemies. So just because I'm doing this as an example, I'm going to set this to two. Now that is going to be quite quick for you, but again, I have a very quick day night system and cycle at the moment. So this is just for the purpose of the tutorial. So you might want to increase this to maybe 10 or even a minute, depending on how long your night is. But for me, I'm going to set it as two. After this, we're going to hold down S and left click to get a sequence. With then one, we're going to drag all the way back to the beginning, going into the reset of the do N. So when we want to respawn some more enemies in, we can do that because we have reset the do end there, so we can use it once again. And out of then zero, we're going to go into another delay, this one being a very, very short period of just 0.1 seconds. And that's just so we're giving this code here enough time to reset the do n, because after this delay, what we're doing is calling the function spawn enemies, which is going to go all the way back to the start of this code and redo it once again. Now, if it's become daytime while we were doing this, when we go back to spawn enemies, this can spawn is going to be false. So it's then going to come off of here and not do the code. So I hope all of this makes sense. Once again, when we're spawning enemies, we're going to spawn a random amount with a random location each time within a certain radius. After two seconds, we're going to spawn enemies again, if we still can, based upon if it is day or night. So we'll compile and save that. And now all we need to do is actually determine when it is day or night. So I'm going to go to my track time function, which again is something which we've already set up in previous videos. Now, if you followed my video on doing automatic lights based on day and night, we've already got this code perfectly set up and we're just going to add on to this. But I am going to explain this again, just in case you haven't got that set up already. What we're going to do is you're just simply going to get your time. So where you are setting the time out of this make time span, we're going to drag out to it and break that time span. So we can now access what time it is in the level. We're going to drag out of hours, get an equal equal. And this number here is the time of night when night starts. So 22 obviously means 10 p.m. So for me, night time is going to start at 10 p.m. And underneath that, we're going to get another equal equal, which is going to be daytime. For me, daytime is going to start at 8 a.m. So night is 10 p.m., day is 8 p.m. I hope that bit there makes sense. And these are just going to go into two branches to check which one is true. And that's coming off of a sequence up here as well. So again, you can obviously see all of this code already here. I'm just explaining what it means for you. So firstly, we're going to check to see if it's nighttime. If it is, this is obviously turning on the lights. And what we're also going to do, so off of true of the branch, is we're going to set can spawn, and we're going to set it to true. And we're also going to call the function spawn enemies, like so. We're going to, so we're setting it to can spawn, so we know it's nighttime. And then we're also going to try and spawn in the enemies. Off of false of that branch, we're going to go to another branch to see if it's morning. If it is, we're turning off the light. But obviously, if you don't have that, all we're going to do is set can spawn to false. We don't need to call the function again because we don't want to spawn in enemies anymore. We're just setting it to false so we know to stop that code. We'll compile and save that. And again, this is obviously going to be always checking it because this is when we're tracking the time. So whenever the time updates, this will also check once again to see if it's now day or night. So we'll compile, save that. And that is all the code done. I hope that all makes sense for you. One other thing you want to make sure you've done is you have got a nav mesh bounds volume set up in your level like so. Now, if we hit play, you'll see that this should be working. So we're going to go all the way up to 10 o'clock or 10 p.m., which again is 2200 hours. And when we do get there, you'll see that enemies will start spawning in like so, again, of different classes with random locations in the level. And when we get to morning, which for me is 8 a.m., they're going to stop spawning, as you can see here, all the way back around until we get to 10 p.m. once again, where they will start spawning again. So I think that'll be it for the video. It's really done everything we want to do. We've set up a system in which enemies are only going to spawn at nighttime and we can determine when nighttime is. So again, for me, it is 10 p.m. Morning is 8 a.m. So between 10 and 8, enemies will be spawning, but between 8 and 10, enemies will not be spawning. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. 
So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.